Welcome to Blue Dog RV. My name is Evan, and I'm in my favorite couples coach right now. This is the 2020 Grand Design Imagine, the 2250 RK. So it's about a 22 foot long box with a beautiful rear kitchen. And now let me show you this thing. So kind of the living area of it. Starting off, I'm in the uh, comfortable Thomas Paine reclining, massage, light up, heat, heated seats. And uh, so both sides recline. Here in the middle, you do have a drop down armrest with extra cup holders in it. As well as, new for this year in this guy, is the, uh, you get the plug in, if you can see that, for the uh, uh, a table that sets in there so you can play cards or even eat food in here if uh, you're at a campsite that doesn't have an outside picnic table or maybe it's raining or snowing or whatever have you because this is a true four season coach and uh, yeah so let me show you around this thing you'll notice right out of the gate that uh, the chair is directly across from the entertainment center the TV does pop right up out of that guy you have the nice black or sorry graystone fireplace uh, entertainment center down here uh, a couple plug-ins, CD, DVD player, storage on both sides, as well as a huge pantry space with an 8 cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, you can tell because it's got four rows, as well as a nice sized freezer that is gas and or electric. Close those. Over here in the actual rear kitchen portion, you've got your Furion oven. This is uh, spark ignited, not only on the three burners, but in the oven as well. Uh, your microwave, hood vent, this thing's got gobs of storage in the kitchen. You've got drawers, you've got cabinets, a little space under here. You've even got a couple drawers here. Solid surface counters, spice rack, full storage up top, hidden hinges, screwed in glued cabinetry, deep single basin sink, uh, nice big openable window right above the sink so you can take a peek at uh, mountains, lake, river, uh, forest, whatever you have behind you when you're camping. Hopefully it's not a freeway. But uh, yeah, so also right above that you have a hood vent with a fan uh, directly above the kitchen. Kind of handy to have. Uh, let's see here, that is a 30 inch entrance door with a motion sensor light above it. Over here, you've got your nice little panel, gas and or electric water heater, water pump, ceiling, uh, extended your awning as well as your slide room. Uh, so it's just a real nice spacious open room with gobs of cabinets above the couch as well. Now these are, where's that? It's kind of tucked up in there. Oh, there it is. Normally probably not going to be that tough, it just kind of got tucked up behind it. But uh, full draw blackout shades, yeah right there this time, that was probably the first time that's ever been used. But, uh, you got a nice mirror, you'll notice the domed ceiling, that's going to shed water and snow a little bit better, gives you a little more head height. Uh, this is a centrally ducted AC system, the swivel, uh, it also ducts it into the pass through bathroom and the bedroom. Uh, so moving into the bathroom here, uh, you notice you've got real nice wide pocket doors. Those are solid, those aren't hollow. Magnet latches there. You've got a porcelain toilet. You've got your stainless steel sink. Real medicine cabinet. You've got a window. Some more storage over here as well as over in here. You also have a nice towel holder on that barn door and a huge shower. I'm 6'4", I've got shoulder room, I've got head room, just not when you're wearing a hat and sunglasses. But uh, yeah, uh, stainless stink, stainless steel shower head. Uh, it's not that cheap plastic most of them come with. Uh, also fully supported shower pan. I'm not really moving around much and you don't feel flex. I could hop up and down in here. It's not going to crack or anything. Grand Design builds a great trailer, which is why we carry them. We are the number one Grand Design dealer in the nation. And so popping out over here into the bedroom, that is a full-size True Queen 80 by 60, not an RV Queen. Uh, you do have storage underneath it. That is the table I'd mentioned that goes in on uh, the couch. Uh, it's on struts. 
you've got plug-ins on both sides, gobs of storage on either side, full extension drawers there, drawers up top. Uh, you have these nice reading lights, they're movable. You get a couple of colors, so whether you want the blue or the light. Uh, neat thing about this headspace is not only is it padded if you do bump your head, but it's not actually as steep as a lot of the other ones, uh, so it doesn't feel quite as claustrophobic for uh, a lot of the trailers where you know you're sticking your head basically in a cubby hole, uh, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, so you have your TV mount right here. You've got central um, heating and AC there. Uh, neat thing you'll notice is that there's no floor vents anywhere in the floor. All your furnace vents are cabinet fed. Uh, that allows them to use single sheet pieces of plywood on their floor uh, so they don't have cutouts which is reducing your structural integrity as well as you're not getting dust, dog hair, debris down in any vents that need to be cleaned out. Uh, so that's awesome. Uh, these guys have plug-ins just about everywhere you can really think of or where you would need one uh, which is super handy so yeah this is the inside of the 2250 RK let me show you the outside Here. again 30 inch entrance door uh, standards 24 inches so you can get a cooler in there pretty easily this solid solid steps they slide right up into the door frame. Uh, they're great. They're fully adjustable. Nice big grab handle. Uh, this is a friction hinge door. It'll take about a 10 mile per hour wind to blow it around, but you still have magnet latches that allow it to uh, stay, stay open. Uh, screen door. Full extension awning. Goes across the entire length. LED strip. Outside speakers. Uh, cool thing about Grand Design here, you'll notice there's not like a putty here that you see on most trailers. Uh, it's called a butyl putty. It has a half-life of five years. Grand Design doesn't use that. They use a Mylar tape that has a half-life of 25 years. More expensive product, but uh, better build, longer lasting lifespan. Uh, LED lights throughout. Uh, ladder, full walk on roof, backup camera prep. Here's your plug-in for this particular one is 30 amp. So coming down the side here, you'll notice you've got your tandem axle, galvanized steel wheel well up in there, so if you do blow a tire it's not going to tear apart half the trailer. You've got uh, cable plug-ins and regular plug-ins if you want an outside TV. Here's the door into the bedroom with a campsite spray port. They give you a little hose, so idea being you've got access to water on the campsite if you need it. But uh, you can also actually wash the trailer with its own water supply, which is pretty neat. Oversized baggage doors. That's an uh, inch and a half thick on magnets, metal slam latches. Look at the size of that. Now uh, you can see the aluminum framing, just gobs of underpass storage there, which is great. As well as magnet latches. Who doesn't love that? Here up front, you've got your integrated A-frame. Uh, this is, goes right into the frame. It's not welded underneath. That allows it to have a lower center of gravity as well as it's a little bit stronger. You've got your dual propane tanks, your automatic power tongue jack. Uh, we'll install batteries, fill your propane tanks. Uh, you've got that beautifully molded fiberglass front cap with running LED lights as well as the rock guard. And then that's kind of like a rhino lining material there. LED prep here, that'll help trickle charge your battery. It's not going to run any appliances or anything like that, but uh, rest assured you won't be coming back to a dead battery. Here on the other side through this pass-through storage, you will see all the goodies as far as your outside shower, hot and cold, your tank fill, your, uh, your water line, uh, battery disconnect, a couple plug-ins for everything, as well as here's potable water if you're not plugged into a water source. Uh, that light right there is also motion activated, so once you open this up, it pops on. Once you shut it, it pops off. Uh, on this guy, we're looking at an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,704 pounds, and it can weigh up to 7,000, so still half ton towable on this guy. Here is your black tank flush. No need to drag a wand into the bathroom to flush that thing out. Uh, you'll notice your tank flush here, or your uh, release valve, uh, is not directly underneath the slide, so it's easy to get to and easy to use even when you're actually camping. 
Uh, great thing about these trailers as well, you'll notice the dual Schwintec slide systems, reliable, easy, they do a great job. And that is a fully molded fiberglass slide wall as well. A lot of companies just do the walls, they don't do the slide walls or the rear of the trailer. Grand Design does, which is what kind of sets them apart in uh, the industry. Uh, again, this is Evan. We are Blue Dog RV, the number one Grand Design dealer in the nation. I am located in Spokane Valley. Come